Morris Stevenson oh. over the top has come to cut a jar. Picked up there. Oh, the big fella in Rosenweek just oh. with strength gets through the contest. Goes to Shembury on the boot. Kicks it. Goal. And I think that's the first one of the afternoon. It is. Umpire says it's all clear. So, Adam, uh, I think it's Adam Shembury. Yeah, it was Himself Shembury. at fullback. Did make a name for himself at fullback at some stage early in the year. So, so Stevenson brings the ball back in. Don't know who he was looking for. And he's turned it over. I think that might be Tadaro. He's got the ball. It is. So Tadaro now plays on, kicks it forward, looking for the two big men up forward, pack forms, but no one can quite take the mark, and I think a free kick may have been spotted. And it's going the way of Anthony Kitchen. Oh. Worrying signs early, Cal, because Kitchen and uh, Rosenweg oh. are getting their hands on. I think oh, we might get a 50 is. as well. And I think, who is it, Robbie Cutterjar that's given it away? Stu Kitchen's going to get his first, and he'll just get that fist pump going in the air, and the momentum is well and truly with Werribee <laughs> at the moment, as he just <laughs> puts that over to the housing estate, so that's going to take a bit of getting. So where we have kicked their second goal of the day, they go to meet two. the ball, taps it towards the boundary line. The Sun wouldn't want to show those two blokes' heads because it'll he's be paid it. Can't you? Is he he's it? paid deliberate. Is he? So uh, free kicks gone to Robbie Cutterjar. I think it was a bit of a deliberate in it, but you would have forgiven the umpire for not paying that one anyway. He's gone with it, and Cutterjar will take the free kick. He's on the out, right in front of the club rooms, about 60 metres out. So he'll probably just lob that one forward. That's exactly what he does, and finds Kloster on the lead. What? So Kloster now. On his approach. Probably kick it from about 48 metres out. He goes back, kicks through the football, and I think he's got it. So the first goal of the day for East Long goes to Ryan Clough. That'll be the case. Hall's got the, the point so far. He goes long to a contest. Big fly comes from the back there from uh, Hickey. Hickey it was. Werribee now steaming forward. Kitchen oh, almost takes the one juke here, but can't quite get it. Gets the handball over the top. Rosenberg's got to get there. Kick it off the ground, son, and he does, oh. and he kicks a goal. Gets his first of the day, Craig Rosenwig. Yep. Where are we? Kyle Robertson. So Robinson now. Just chips it in board. Fine spotter. He's About 45 metres out. Can he kick it, Cal? You've yes, seen he him play. He's uh, got a great left boot, and uh, he'll definitely be able to make the distance from there, whether he's got the accuracy. Uh, the spotter now, just approaching in. Kicks it on 50 on that left. Sailing towards the goals. It looks like it's just going to miss, but Scrubber tries to take the mark. Has a couple of bites. Can't quite get it out. Gets it to Koi. Koi off the ground. Smothered by Leach, it looked like. But he's got another go at it. And he's kicked it through. So the Eagles have got their second goal of the day. Through. Hard work. Yeah, it, was, it was hard work for him, but it looks <laughs> like... A lot cleaner early. So the umpire throws up. Primke comes flying over the top there. And I don't know whether he's going to get a free kick or who, where it's going. Bit of confusion forming. I went to Primke. I think Primpy's got it. I don't, I don't think it's his footy. I think he thought it was. He's just played on there. But the ball's landed in the hands of Adam Shembury. So Shembury now goes to the forward 50, to centre half forward, true centre half forward position. Can't find Rosenwig. The big fella drops a mark. Oh, head just taken off there. Who's that? Teets. Teetsy. Had his head ripped off. Oh, my oh, right. And 50. Stupid. Run through the mark, too, I think, as well. True. Very true. So Teetsy now will just stroll in, and you'd think this would be elementary for him. Puts it through. So Werribee get their fourth goal of the day. They move to uh, four goals, three twenty. Lovell and Cameron yep. will go at it once again. Yep. So the umpire now throws the ball aloft. Yep. Free kick has been spotted from outside the ground, so outside the square. And I think it's going to go yep. the way of East Geelong. Well, it looks like Ricky O'Toole is yep. going to get the result and free kick. As we said in the long sleeve today, does the quick yep. one-two with Jennings and then kicks the ball forward looking for Sponner. Spoil comes from behind. Hey. Montgomery can't quite pick up the football. It's going to land in the hands of O'Toole again, who just yeah, decides to loft it. the ball forward, looking for a teammate. Not quite finding one. The ball's forming yeah. around centre-half, 40 for each long. Plenty of players around the footy. Great bit of work from Kloster. Feeds the handball yeah. back to O'Toole, but just over his head. And Calvert's going to get a chance. He kicks the ball off the ground. Numbers with Werribee at the moment. They, they can really hurt him on the turnover here. If they can get away, Tietzi's going to be the first one to meet this. Goes for the one-arm pick-up. Does a pretty good job of it too. Lands in the path of Tadaro. Tadaro can't quite get it. A few players there. Bowman's there, one of them, but. He's not the one that gets the football. It ends up in the hands of Werribee. Half forward for them at the moment. They still can't quite get it forward. The ball comes out now to the... Oh, no. Sorry, it was uh, Pilkington. Oh. Pilkington who kicked the ball on his left. He was cleaned up and it's landed in the hands of Rosenwig, which is all that matters. And he'll go back and have a shot from about 30 metres out on a 45-degree angle. So far away, Dale with the scores. I'll just wait till the goal goes through, mate. We'll get it on the way back. We'll actually Come on, Cal. Baby steps. Will. Don't just uh, all right, we'll take control. It. Now there's, there's a 50 metre penalty. 50. Stevenson, Stevenson, Stevenson again. Has been stupid once again. Scrubble is moving up the ground now, too. I think he might be getting a bit frustrated. It might be time for him to uh, just get in the middle of the ground, Cal. So, well, right. well, big Rosenweek does go this time, Cal. We might give it in the lead. Oh. One goal, four. Trail 
nor too long, six goals straight. Whoa. Bell Post Hill, 6-11, two Belmont Lions, two goals, one. Carrillo, one behind. Bannockman, eight goals, five. And Thompson, 5-2 lead. Anarchy, four goals, two. So yeah, on that and, and actually, you get to get it up to their forwards, their, their deep forwards. It's and 250-metre penalties, which result in easy goals instead of maybe meet goals. So the ball back in the middle of the ground. This time, Cameron and Lovell. I think Lovell might have got a bit of a hand to it. He goes back and collects his own ball. Goes to half forward. Oh, Calvert doesn't try to take the ball. Tries to knock it forward. Arriving, Calvert taps the ball out in front of himself. He's tackled without the ball. Umpire took a long time Chugs to pay that free, free kick. kick. And it's going back to, so, yes, so it is, Brendan Chug that's going to take the free kick. He's in range here. He can nearly load this up and kick a goal. Oh. Goes that way, goes oh. long, and kicks a goal. <laughs> so Brendan Chug, he gets his first and the sixth goal for Werribee. Six goals, three now. They lead East Geelong, who he are... Hits him in the shins. He's taken without the footy. Surely got to get a free kick. Doesn't... But this isn't the case, but Werribee are going to run away with the footy now, and the ball's coming into Shemri. Where was the free kick for Primke? I want to know, Why because he was basically being... Be taken off the ball. He was that tackled manner. without the football. And he, a shepherd. And they're having a few words to the umpires at the moment, and rightfully so, I think. But shembury has got the footy. That's all that matters now. And he's going to go back from about 20 metres out on a pretty tight angle. And if he can kick this one, that'll be the eighth of the day for Werribee. And they'll be starting to really steer clear from East Shore. So Shembury now. It's on his approach. Nice looking kick off the boot. But just missed it. To his right. Odd. Right. Well, it hasn't got, actually hasn't gone through. It's landed in the paws of uh, Rosenweg. I think it was right on the goal line. I think they're really talking now to the umpire. Both umpires oh, no. have converged. Jeez. They've got to work out whether it went through a point or not because what's All happened clear. is Rosenweg's picked Might the point. Mark doesn't be taken there by Bunworth. Cornish knocks it off the ground, tapped away by Spiner to O'Toole. He'll do something positive with it. Long handball outside, and that's a great handball. Ball goes to Coy. Coy kicks further looking for Scrobelak. He's up in front and takes the mark. Much better from East along this. Kloss has been missing for a while. O'Hara also sitting on the bench. Scroblack now picking the ball up. Plays on quickly. Goes looking for and finds O'Leary. They might be learning a lesson sitting on the bench. I'm not too sure. But anyway, the ball kicked in by O'Leary. It's a nice looking Four. kick. And Sean, he likes it this time. He's got the strut back in his uh, stride now. That's a nice kick there from Sean O'Leary. Back in the action. Running through the middle of the ground. He's a quick player. Takes a couple of bounces and then kicks and he's... Knocked off the ball by Spawner, but the ball's going to land in the hands of Pilkington. Pilkington wheels back inside, looks through his hand, uh, handball in the teammate in Calvert. Calvert wheels around, sends it to the hot spot, looking for Kitchen, but coming across oh. the back was Primke, couldn't quite take the mark, but it's landed in the hands of Lovell, it looks like, who's put it on the left boot, and all but sealed victory for wherever you would have fired. Throws the ball back in. Lovell gets the tape, tap down to Titi, who gives it off to Tadaro, sends it on the boot. In the path of Coy. So Ryan Coy now in the back line. Kicks it out. Looking for Primke. Hotly contested by a number of Werribee players. Burke gets the handball to Calvert, who puts it on the snap. It's going. It's there. Great goal by Simon Calvert. Which sees Werribee. The umpire throws it up. Third man up is Pilkington. He knocks it in the path of Johns. Ball should sit for him and does. Wheels around on that left boot. Looking for Cal uh, Toby. Oh, who is it? Oh, it's Chuck. Chuck. Chug -a and it was one of them. Ignored though. It looks like it was Lovell that put the lead on. But Chug says, no, mate. Let, no. Me, let me do this one. So in he comes. Saunders in. Kicks it. And he just puts the arm in the Anthony Kitchen style and says, thank you very much. As he kicks the goal. He's second of the day. Taxi, but he's decided to go back and kick the ball in long, I think. So now, Tadaro kicks the ball up, goes towards Lovell, over the back. Oh, Cameron was up early, got up and down before the ball even arrived, arrived just about. Picked up by Galley, handballs over the top, picked up there, kicked around the quarter by Johns again, goes back to the goal Stop. square. And <laughs> uh, was He's looking got it. go over and over and over He's for another it. goal. So kicked in from Robinson, goes short, O'Toole, good, good hands, good kick from Robinson, spins around, goes in towards centre half for back, coming up, Hickey takes the mark. Has players wide, Confay's the target. Standing, takes the mark. Has player and Chamberlain further ahead. He didn't look that way. Goes back into Primke. Primke's seen him. He goes now towards Chamberlain on the half forward line. Can play on if he wants to. Looking for options. Looking for the running player. There it is. That's good lead there from O'Leary. That's better use. And that's what we expect to see from East Geelong on a regular basis. We haven't done mm. so and today. Far, few and far between today, Dale. So O'Leary, he decides to go short. And Chris Hickey has pushed forward again. and So Hickey. 30 metres out, almost directly in front. Comes in. That's a nice-looking kick. Umpire does not move. And that's the first goal of the last quarter.